Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, and the blessing of the Lord be upon every heart and soul in the house. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you and all yours. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God for our pastor, Mother Waldron, this morning, my God. And every one of you, if you would, please, just turn right quick. Hallelujah. To, oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Just Matthew. Oh, correction. Forgive me. <laughs> Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Gracious, glorious God, bless your holy name. Hallelujah. And we pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That God Almighty be glorified and honored. Hallelujah. All praises, glory and honor. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Be sang and proclaimed to his almighty name in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If you have uh, Genesis 2 and 7, would you say, bless the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the scripture begins to read, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, you don't necessarily have to turn, but hallelujah. If you do to John 20 and verse 22, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. With the word of God proclaim and uh, speaking of the Lord Jesus, my God, after his almighty resurrection, thank you, Lord, after his crucifixion and burial and hallelujah's resurrection, my God, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. It says, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and saith unto them, receive ye the Holy Ghost, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, thank you, Lord, and by the grace of God, we'd like every heart and mind to, my God, think on this, releasing, hallelujah, and receiving in the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, releasing and receiving in the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, come on, pray with us, gracious and glorious God, we just thank you, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, for being so merciful and gracious to us this morning, my God, we thank you, hallelujah, oh God, hallelujah, for all oh, the multitude of your mercies in and upon our lives, we just thank you, hallelujah, and in the name of the Lord Jesus, my God, we have assembled here together in our blessed name, Lord Jesus, and we thank you, hallelujah, for your blessed presence, my God, and as we're here in your blessed Blessed presence, my almighty God. Hallelujah, my God. Oh, yes, give us all ears to hear what that spirit saith. And hallelujah, hearts, my God, that receive it. Hallelujah, believe it, my God, and obey it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah, and this, my God, vessel of thy mercy in the name of the Lord Jesus. This, oh, my God, this child born of thy spirit, my God. God and hallelujah washed in that blood in the name of the Lord Jesus my God and by the almighty spirit hallelujah word this my God hallelujah oh my God servant's mouth hallelujah by that spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus to speak my God as that spirit give utterance in the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah to thy praise and thy glory and thy honor hallelujah my God in the name of the Lord Jesus now everybody ought to say in the name of the Lord Jesus somebody ought to shout amen amen hallelujah would you be seated in the name of our Lord Jesus and while you're being seated my God would you just encourage somebody to say release it and receive it <laughs> amen that's right release it to receive it hallelujah amen my God we just bless and our glorious God and his grace, peace, mercy, love, and joy just be multiplied, hallelujah, in every life this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. And even all you that are listening, my God, hallelujah, on nine right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, as we read in my God, Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, my God, about the first man that who had nothing blocking God from breathing in his nostrils the breath of life. But now, hallelujah, we must release, hallelujah, 
to be in place to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and all the blessings and promises of God. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Lord. Because just like with this, with him receiving this breath, how many of you know that, hallelujah, as long as we're holding on to our natural breath, we won't receive. <laughs> hallelujah, my God. As long as we're holding on to the carbon dioxide, hallelujah, my God, we cannot receive oxygen. Hallelujah, my God. So we can't receive. A lot of times we're not in that place, my God, to receive of God. Hallelujah, my God, because we hadn't released, my God, what was stopping it. Thank you, Lord. How many of you know that there are some things, my God, in our life that if we don't release it, my God, we're not going to receive the blessing. Hallelujah. We've got to receive. Release things, my God. Hallelujah, my God. And thank you, Lord. And like his, um, and my God. And just like the first Adam, my God, had to receive the breath of God. Hallelujah. To become a living soul. Likewise, my God, for us to be, hallelujah, born again. Hallelujah. To receive the Holy Ghost. My God, we've got to be in that blessed place, my God, where we release things, my God, everything, my God, that will prevent us. Hallelujah. From receiving, my God, that that breath of life, my God, where uh, we would receive the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. As we read in John 20 and verse 22. Hallelujah. When he said this, my God, he breathed on them. Hallelujah. And saith. Hallelujah. Unto them receive ye the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So my God, God coming in the flesh. Hallelujah. Is the Lord Jesus Christ, my God. And hallelujah. So he can lay down his life. Oh, my God. In crucifixion and be buried and rise again. Hallelujah. My God. The third day. Hallelujah. My God. Ascend into heaven and pour out his spirit upon all flesh. My God. For us to receive that breath of God. Hallelujah. My God. In receiving the Holy Ghost, my God, it's necessary for us to move out of the way what my God will prevent us from receiving it. So it's some things we have necessarily got to release, my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Even as we saw naturally with the first Adam, my God, and hallelujah, as we, my God, will continue to see in John chapter 14. Thank you, Lord. Beginning at verse 15 of John chapter 14. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we, my God, saw him promising in John 20, 22. Hallelujah. And my God, with them also being alive, my God, again, after being dead in, hallelujah, sin from the first Adam. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because it's necessary. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Because when Adam sinned, everything that came out of him from that point, hallelujah, was born in sin, conceived in iniquity. And my God, hallelujah. So we've got to be in that place, my God, with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To enter in, to be born again, my God, to have access to God. Because don't you know God showed us. Hallelujah, that we all were going to be blocked from eternal life. Hallelujah, because after Adam sinned, that flame and sword was placed where they had no access to my God. Hallelujah. And that, uh, hallelujah, long life. Thank you, Lord. Access to long life, my God. Thank you, Lord. And likewise, God was shown spiritually, hallelujah, that, oh, my God, that, that, Man must be born again of water and of the spirit, or he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. He wouldn't be able to enter in that place with God. He wouldn't be able to enter into that paradise. Hallelujah, God, the kingdom of God, because, hallelujah, my God, as sin was separating, my God, man from God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, John 14, beginning at verse 15, he said, If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Somebody say, the world cannot receive. <laughs> my God, hallelujah. Everybody got to be born again of water and of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, they cannot. Somebody say, cannot. Hallelujah, enter therein. And right here he says, whom the world cannot receive the spirit of truth, the Holy Ghost. That, hallelujah, we read in 
20, John 20 and 22, for them to receive, my God, hallelujah, that he speak unto, my God, his disciples when he breathed on them. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And he says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come unto you. Yet a little while the world seeth me no more, but ye see me because I live. Somebody say, ye shall live also. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. We must be born again in that right. Hallelujah. We've got to, my God, live. Thank you, Lord. And that will only be because we, he lives, my God. And when we, my God, hallelujah, obey him, my God, his gospel, hallelujah, to repent and hallelujah, oh, be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus for the remission of sins and be filled with his spirit, my God. Hallelujah. Being born of water and of the spirit, my God, we enter into his kingdom and we are, my God, baptized into him, my God. And as he goes on to say, hallelujah, at that day ye shall know that I am in my Father and ye in me and I in you. Hallelujah. Yes, you will live again. You will live also. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because we had been dead and sin. My God. Hallelujah. My God. We were conceived in iniquity. Oh, my God. And separated from God. But God made a way. Somebody say, Lord God, you made a way. And we thank you for making a way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And in Mark 11, Hallelujah. Beginning at verse 20 to 26, my God. My God, here we see the necessity of releasing to receive. Hallelujah. We got to release. We've got to make sure this and that is out the way. My God, we got to make sure. Amen. How many of you know that if something is, my God, got your hand bound up, can't nothing else be put in that hand? Hallelujah. Something has got to be released, my God. Just like, hallelujah, with Adam, there was nothing blocking him from receiving the breath of life. Hallelujah, my God. And then when the Lord, when that same God that had breathed in the Adam nostril, the breath of life, he came again, my God. Hallelujah. And my God, human flesh, my God. And as the Lord Jesus Christ, my God, and after he was, my God, had been crucified, my God, for our sins and uh, buried and raised, my God, from again the third day. Hallelujah, my God. He, my God, appeared to them, my God, and breathed on them and told them, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Because they had, and my God, been with him and they had been, oh, believing him. And after, oh, my God, he had died for their sins, my God, and crucifixion and been buried my God and hallelujah rose again the third day hallelujah his my God disciples have been told that his my God tomb was empty and they went to see it and my God they came my God and when they didn't see his body still laying there in the tomb my God hallelujah my God he appeared to them Hallelujah, my God, in his resurrected form and breathed on them and told them, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, my God. Just like with the first Adam, my God, God breathed in his nostril the breath of life. Hallelujah. God had now come in the flesh and he breathed on them and said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, my God. And hallelujah. But with us, unlike the first Adam, my God, hallelujah, we had things, my God, in our life that would, oh, my God, hallelujah, be necessary to be released, my God, in order for us to receive the Holy Ghost and to, hallelujah, receive the things of God, hallelujah, and all the mercies and grace of God, hallelujah, and so likewise, that's why it's so necessary, hallelujah, that we see here, hallelujah, what we are being shown about, hallelujah, the necessity of releasing to receive. Hallelujah. Mark 11, verse 20. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. Hallelujah. And Peter, calling to remembrance, said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. 
Hallelujah. That's right, because the Lord had been ministering and he was hungry. Hallelujah. And he saw the tree all, you know, greened up. Hallelujah, which, you know, good indication that it should be bearing fruit. And when he went there and it was bearing none and he cursed it. And now, hallelujah, they saw the word of God in effect. Hallelujah. That next morning, and Peter said that to him. And in verse 22, and the Lord Jesus answered and said unto him, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Now, my God, because this principle is true, the Lord goes on and says, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Hallelujah. My God, but check this out. And when ye stand praying, somebody say forgive. If ye have all. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you're holding something against somebody, guess what? <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh-uh. You're holding something against yourself. Hallelujah, because look what he goes on to say. He says that your father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you, your trespasses. Hallelujah. In verse 26, he says, but if ye, my God, do not forgive, somebody say neither. <laughs> oh, will your father, which is in heaven, forgive you, your trespasses. Hallelujah. So check that out. If you don't release it, you won't receive it either. Hallelujah. You can't hold. I don't care who. And you know we're living in a serious day with people doing a lot of things, my God, against us. And they're doing a lot of things, my God, against God, the things of God and this and that. Hallelujah. But, my God, thank you, Lord, instead of having all against them, hallelujah, we ought to just go ahead and add them in our prayer. Hallelujah, that God have mercy on them, my God. Hallelujah, grant them repentance unto the acknowledging of the truth. Hallelujah, that's right, give them repentance unto the acknowledging of the truth. My God, bless them with godly sorrow that worketh repentance unto salvation, not to be repented of in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, so we won't have aught against any. Hallelujah, we've got to forgive, my God, because if we don't release Hallelujah, we won't receive either. Oh, my God. Now, in Matthew chapter 6, hallelujah, verse 9 through 15. Thank you, Lord. Like the Lord Jesus said, when you stand, praying, and forgive. And look how he emphasizes this again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And he tells him in verse 9 of Matthew 6, he said, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. Somebody say, as we forgive our debtors. <laughs> say it again, as we forgive our debtors. Hallelujah, that's right. Thank you, Lord. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And in verse 14, he says, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your Father, your heavenly Father, will also forgive you. Somebody say, but. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. You ought to say it again, but. Mm, but if ye receive, if, but if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father, my God, forgive your trespasses. Hallelujah, my God. Tell somebody, release it so you can receive it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I don't care what's in the way. My God, whatever God brings to your mind, my God, loose it. Let it go. Hallelujah. So you'll be in that blessed place uh, to receive. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And in 1 John, hallelujah, chapter 1, my God, and verse 8 and 9, my God. Hallelujah. Just as we release carbon dioxide, hallelujah, which we must to receive oxygen, the breath of life, to live. Likewise, 
we must release all things that will keep us from receiving what we absolutely need. Somebody ought to say amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Don't we need oxygen? Hallelujah. We got to, first of all, release carbon dioxide, don't we? Thank you, Lord. Now, if we just a baby coming out the womb like Adam, I go, all we got to do is receive the breath of life. That's why the doctor, you know, put that slap on there and that baby <gasps> breathe in and holler. <laughs> Amen. Let them know, hey, I'm here, I'm here. Thank you, Lord. I received the breath of life. Yes, thank you, Lord Jesus. But my God, hallelujah. Likewise, my God, after that, my God, we've got to release Hallelujah, the carbon dioxide that we're holding, hallelujah, to receive the oxygen, the breath of life to live. Not going to continue to live. My God, and likewise, we must release all things that will keep us from receiving what we absolutely need. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. First John chapter 1, beginning at verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. My God, hallelujah, if the truth in us, my God, it will reveal to us, oh, you've got a sinful nature, hallelujah, you got a carnal nature there, hallelujah, my God, and if you're walking in my spirit, you're going to fulfill the lust of the flesh, oh, my God, hallelujah, but then he says, my God, hallelujah, just like you breathing out carbon dioxide, hallelujah, if we confess our sin, you know, every time we speak, guess what we release? Carbon dioxide. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God, and we put ourselves in a place where we also, my God, will receive, my God, the breath of life. We receive oxygen. Thank you, Lord. If we confess our sins, he, somebody say he, God Almighty is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to, somebody say, cleanse us. Hallelujah. From some, not some. Somebody say all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, my God. So, my God, hallelujah. My God, we, my God, hallelujah. My God, we will say, my God, yeah, my God, even though I'm a child of God, hallelujah, I make my mistakes. My God, I sin. I have this thought or that thought, which I got to repent of. My God, I be thinking, man, they shouldn't have done that, my God, even though they really shouldn't have done it. But, you know, I'm saying it not in a way for their salvation, but just in a way to condemn them. You know, my, my God, hallelujah. The Lord Jesus came to save folk, didn't he? He laid down his life for him, my God, so I need to be busy, my God, hallelujah, trying to, my God, hallelujah, first of all, my God, pray for him, my God, and if I have an opportunity, even, my God, hallelujah, minister to him and encourage them, hallelujah, to, my God, seek God, hallelujah, my God, and hallelujah, my God, they say, my God, hallelujah, oh, my God, I won't allow myself to be deceived, my God, I know that there's sin, my God, and oh, my God, this carnal nature that want to have its way, oh, my God, the truth of God, hallelujah, is in me, hallelujah, he that is the way, the truth, and the life, he's in me, and I want to abide in him, and I'm going to confess sins, <laughs> hallelujah, I'm going to breathe that out, Hallelujah, so I could be in a place to receive, my God, of the faithful and the, my God, just one. Hallelujah, to forgive, my God, my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah, my God. So likewise, we've got to always know, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to, just like us releasing that carbon dioxide, my God, which we must do in order to receive oxygen, that breath of life. We, my God, in order to keep living, we likewise must release all things that keep us from receiving what's absolutely necessary. Thank you, Lord. And us, my God, being forgiven of all our sins, my God, and cleansed from all unrighteousness, my God, hallelujah. Somebody say, that's very necessary. Hallelujah, my God, because my God, hallelujah, my God, if we got a spot, that's going to separate us from God. If we got a blemish, that's going to separate us from God. Period. My God, so my God, we got to be releasing, my God, everything. Hallelujah, that separates us from him. Hallelujah, that puts us out of paradise. My God, hallelujah, and keeps us from going into paradise. Hallelujah, like it says in Psalms 32, 
Hallelujah. Beginning at verse 1. Hallelujah, my God. Blessed is he whose, whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin mm, is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Oh, my God. When I kept silent, oh, my bones waxed old through my, my roaring all oh, my God the day long. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. For day and night, oh, my God, hand was heavy upon me. Oh, my God. My moisture, oh, is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. So guess what I'm doing? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to release it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I acknowledged my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will. Somebody say, I will. Mm -hmm. I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And thou forgavest. Mm. Hallelujah. The iniquity of my sin. Selah. Hallelujah. My God, isn't that a great and glorious God? I, my God, I'm sorry. I got happy and said 51. But I meant 32. Y'all forgive me. That was Psalm 32, 1 through 5. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now in Psalm 51, 1 through 5. Hallelujah. He goes on to say, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sin. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Why should I even expect that? Like verse 3 declare. For I acknowledge. <laughs> I confess my sin. I acknowledge my transgression. And my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee alone have I sinned. And done this evil in thy sight, that thou, hallelujah, mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Oh, my God, behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Oh, my God, hallelujah, but I acknowledge, I confess it, to, hallelujah, my God, hallelujah, because in me doing that, confessing, Hallelujah, the faithful and the just one, my God, will forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. And look what it says in Proverbs 28, 13. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Lord, releasing uh, and to receive. Uh, hallelujah. Yes, my God. Hallelujah it says, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper. That's right. Proverbs 28, 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. Hallelujah. My God. Anybody want to prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers in him? Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. Well, one of the best ways to make sure that is happening, my God. Hallelujah, my God, is not to cover your sins. Hallelujah, my God. Confess, release it. Hallelujah, my God, before him, my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. As it goes on to say, but whoso confesseth, hallelujah, with that ETH on the end, my God, and forsaketh, hallelujah, with that ETH on the end, which shows a, which represents, my God, hallelujah, my God, a, a present, continual, ongoing action. Hallelujah. Confessing and forsaking. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. Sins them. Hallelujah is referring to shall have what? Somebody say mercy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't we all need mercy? Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. I wasn't doing enough for God. Hallelujah to come do everything he's done for me. I did not deserve it. Hallelujah. But my God, his mercy, I am so thankful for. His mercy, I, my God, hallelujah, am so thankful for the multitude of his mercies. Hallelujah. I want to, my God, hallelujah, also, my God, multiply that, my thanksgiving unto him. Hallelujah, my God, and keep this thing multiplied, my God, hallelujah, where I'm releasing any, and my God, and everything. 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That, oh, my God, he died for the things that separate us from him. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh, my God, them referring to, my God, their sins shall have mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My God, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5 through 8, my God. Hallelujah. My God, well, my God, we'll note that, my God, in releasing any and all desires, my God, hallelujah, desires uh, uh, to, my God, be a pleaser, my God, of your flesh or of man, hallelujah, my God, hallelujah, and my God, receive of the Lord whatsoever good thing ye been doing continually. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 6, 5 through 8. Servants, obey my God. Correction. Be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh. With fear and trembling in singleness of heart. Somebody say, as unto Christ. Hallelujah, my God. You ain't trying to please them. Hallelujah, my God. Who you ever you're working for. Hallelujah. No, no, no. You're doing all you're doing, my God, as unto Christ. Isn't that right? Amen, my God. He says, my God, in verse 6, the Holy Ghost through the Apostle Paul continues to go on. Not with eye service as men pleasers. Hallelujah. It ain't all about trying to please them, but as the servants of Christ doing the will of God. Somebody say from the heart. That's right. Hallelujah. With good. Hallelujah. Willing or will do service with good will do service. Hallelujah. As unto the Lord and not to me. Hallelujah. My God. Knowing this right here, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man do, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. Hallelujah, my God. So when you're busy, my God, hallelujah, doing the will of God from your heart, hallelujah, my God, like that, hallelujah, all the good, whatsoever good thing, my God, that you are doing, hallelujah, my God, you're continually doing as that ETH on the end of do in verse 8 there, my God, in the case of present, continual, ongoing action, hallelujah, my God, that which you keep doing, that good you keep doing, my God, hallelujah, that good thing, my God, hallelujah, that you keep doing, the same shall receive of the Lord. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You all, We ought to be knowing this and keeping that in mind. My God, hallelujah. It's not about, my God, hallelujah, just trying to make you feel all right about this, that, and the other. Hallelujah. I do want you edified, my God. I do want you saved and sanctified. Hallelujah, my God, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, I want that. But it's not just about pleasing you. It's about pleasing the one who laid down who came in flesh and laid down his life for me. Hallelujah, my God, was buried and rose again the third day, ascended into heaven, sat on the throne and poured out his spirit upon all flesh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, my God, and blessing me to be one of the ones to have received it of him. Hallelujah, and been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, my God, filled with his spirit. Yes, my God, I want to stay busy. Hallelujah, my God, doing that good. Hallelujah, my God, and hallelujah, who with good will do, my God, will doing service as unto the Lord. Hallelujah, my God. Hey, yes, Lord, with good will doing service unto the Lord. Hallelujah, my God, because I'm all about doing the will of God from my heart. So it's, my God, it's got to be done. I've got to release, my God. Oh, my God, it's about you, it's about them, it's about, no, it's about him. <laughs> Tell somebody it's all about him. Hallelujah, because if I don't please him, guess what? Oh, my God, I, I'm not going to receive that which is pleasing from him either. Hallelujah. If I'm not busy loving him with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind and all my strength, guess what? I'm not going to receive the love of God of him. 
My God, I won't be before that throne, my God, hearing him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Oh, my God. Don't everybody want to hear that? Hallelujah. Well, we got to remember, hallelujah, he's got to be first all the time. Because if I'm found, if I leave here in that place where he's not first, hmm, mercy, I'm in the wrong place. Oh, my God, and I don't know about you, I want to be there with him, my God, who is the, the beginning and the end. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, my God, I want to be there with him who is my all in all. Thank you, Lord, in Hebrews 34, uh, oh, correction, in Hebrews chapter 10, beginning at verse 34. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. We want to go there. We can, my God, hallelujah, to always, my God, remember that us, here, my God, hallelujah, all that we release here on earth puts us in the blessed place of my God, hallelujah. After we've done the will of God, we'll receive the promise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Begin at verse 34 of Hebrew 10. Hallelujah, for ye had compassion of me and my bonds. Thank you, Lord. And took joyfully. Mm. The spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. And that's sure not what we need to remember right now with everything going up and all this going on. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Lord. So whatever we losing, whatever ain't this, that, and the other, now I'm knowing this right here, though. Hallelujah, that my God I have in heaven. A better and an enduring substance. Hallelujah. Because everything down here anyway. Going to pass away with fervent heat. Isn't that right? Oh yes my God. Hallelujah. And oh it goes on to say. Cast not away therefore your confidence. Don't lose that confidence. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you Lord. Oh my God that you have. My God. Oh, my God, of whatever you might lose right here and right now. Hallelujah. My God, you know in yourself that you have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Hallelujah. That you won't lose and it won't pass away. Hallelujah. So cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. Hallelujah. For ye have need of patience that after... You've done the will of God. You might receive the promise. Oh, my God. So I got to make sure. Hallelujah. I release everything. In and everything, my God. Out the way. Hallelujah. So that I'll always be in that blessed place to receive. Hallelujah. The promise of God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. After doing his blessed will. And my God, thank you, Lord. And hallelujah. Luke chapter 6. My God, beginning at verse 35. You can come on, stand with us. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, my God. And we see here that as you release, oh my God, in your giving, it will be received. Given unto you in good measure. Press down, shaking together, and somebody say running over. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh my God. How I many you know that giving is a type of releasing as well? Hallelujah. Instead of you holding on to this and that for yourself. Oh my God. Hallelujah. And the way my God, the Lord didn't hold on to everything, my God, for himself, did. But because God is love, he gave in that right. Hallelujah. And look what the Lord says, my God, here in verse 35 of Luke chapter 6. But love, do what? Love your enemies. Don't cuss them out. Don't put them down. Don't kick them to the curb. Love. Somebody say love. Somebody, everybody all wave your hands and say, God, help me love my enemies. <laughs> yes, my God. Hallelujah. And do good and lend, hoping for nothing again. That's right. I'm giving it up, and I might not get it back from you, but that's all right. It's impossible for God to lie. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. My God, have a God say, my God, he's going to give it back to his praise, his glory, and his honor. It's coming back. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And my God, hallelujah, he says, but love your enemies and do good and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great. Hallelujah. And you shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Well, them folk ain't did me right, so I ain't going to do them. Mm -mm. <laughs> Got to be a children of the highest who is kind unto them that are unthankful. And the evil. Bless God. Hallelujah. And he goes on to say, Hallelujah, my God. And because you are the children of the highest, my God, be ye therefore merciful. Somebody say merciful. Even as your father also is merciful. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. Look at all that releasing. Look at all that releasing. Yeah, you did this and that to me. I ain't holding it. I'm losing it. Uh, I'm not going to judge you and put you in hell. Not now. Now, you know, once I get in heaven and you ain't been born again of war of the spirit <laughs> into his kingdom, my God, hallelujah, repented of your sin, been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, hallelujah, and filled with the Holy Ghost because you heard how he had been crucified and died for your sins and been buried and rose again the third day. Hallelujah. Ascended into heaven, sat on the throne and poured out his spirit for you to receive. Hallelujah. After hearing all that and you did not, my God, hallelujah, receive it. That ain't my fault. So if you deny God, God already told you, I'm going to deny you. So you was up for being denied, and so, you know. But right now, uh-uh, ain't about judging you. Ain't about kicking you to the curve, condemning you. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Lord. And not forgiving you. No, no, no. Hallelujah. It's all about, hallelujah, like verse 38 says, give. Hallelujah. And it shall be given unto you. Thank you, Lord. When you are busy, instead of holding something against this one and that one, release it. Somebody say, give! And it shall be given unto you. Somebody say, good measure! Woo! Yeah, that's right. That liberty you gave. That's right. <laughs> they called you a dog, but you said, God bless you. <laughs> that little you did shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together and run it over somebody say and run it over Woo! shall men give unto your bosom for with the same measure that ye met with all it shall be measured to you again. So since it's coming like that, thank you, Lord. Don't do yourself bad. Keep on honoring God. Well, the government don't like me because I honor God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Keep giving. Say, well, God bless the government. God, my God, have mercy on the government. God grant the government repentance unto the acknowledging of the truth. Give them repentance, God. Hallelujah to the acknowledging of the truth, my God. Hallelujah. Busy praying for instead of condemning them. Kicking them to the curb. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, let's pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus, great God.